for now. Tom is absolutely solid. Oi oi! <laughs> what am I talking about even? <laughs> Out of interest. Right, so I've got some really interesting matches to catch up with and I'm going to tell you all about them but now we're just having a little fish. We're at Boldings Pools Fishery in Bridge North having a little cheeky look for the Fishermania tomorrow and been doing some filming but I'm going to run you through my recent matches starting off with Moreland's Farm and it was the last round of the Silfish League I've been fishing there. And to be honest, I've not done that good on this league. Struggled, because I've not really done much Silfish fishing there before. There you go, lovely F1. I've not really done much fishing there before, so struggled a bit this year, but learning a lot. And on the last round I drew, there you go, beautiful F1. There he is, probably two and a half pound. Beautiful fish. But I drew peg 18 on bank, which is one out of the corner. So luckily I didn't draw the corner. The corners have been notoriously the worst pegs on bank, but I drew 18, so one out towards the middle of the lake. And I've been on there a bit on this league and I've realized all the big fish on there, all the big skimmers, all the big bream, have basically been caught short. Like nobody really catches anything fishing long. And because I've not done very good in this league, I needed to catch a few of them to um, to do any good. To be honest, I didn't think I could get in the frame, so I was going just to win the match, really. So I fished casters on a top kitten three in front of me, and I fished a casters on a top kitten three just downwind as well. So two lines on casters, nice and short, and I thought that was going to be the best way to um, attack it. And on the down the peg, I put three pots of ground bait in with some casters, and on the one in front of me, just a little nugget with some casters, and I started on that. With just a 4 by 12 chanty strung out, strung out rigs at Moreland's Farmer, a key to be honest. You don't catch anything on bulk down rigs, I'm learning. Um, but yeah, it's a nice strung out chanty rig. And just loose feeding a few casters, and I started on that short line, and it was brilliant to be honest, right in front of myself. Loose feeding a few casters, and had a really good run on that, I caught a few fish. And what I'm learning on bank is they come in little runs, so. You go in and you catch two or three skimmers really fast and then they disappear and then they come back and you have another little, little run. But over that positive ground bait line, that was absolutely horrendous. And that has been the story for the entire league there for me. Anywhere I've fed any positive amount of ground bait, they just didn't settle over it at all. So learned a lot for the actual upcoming two day festival, which I've just fished. And I've been lucky enough to actually win the festival, but on day one, I drew on Meadow Pool, peg 15, uh, which is pretty in the middle of the lake, pretty good peg. Oh, missed a bite then. Um, yeah, just middle of the lake, and I decided to just fish cast a short again, because um, all the pools there, everyone who catches any weights, just catch them short. So I've set up a top kit and two on casters, where it plumbed up really nice, nice hard bottom, and it was the same depth on a top kit and one. But I started on this top kit and three, top kit and two, sorry, uh, where I just fed a little nugget of ground bait. Obviously, I've told you, big positive feeding of ground bait. It's been a bit rubbish for me there. So I just fed a little nugget of ground bait, loose fed casters, four by 12 chanty rig again. Um, and I had a great spell, to be honest. Like caught a little skim or roach, pretty much every put in all day. And because it was the same depth on a top kitten two as it was a top kitten one, and I was catching so well out there, I just thought, why don't I fish a top kitten one? So I basically could catch faster. So I just fed on a top kit and one, exactly the same, a little nugget, started loose feed in there, and basically caught really, really well. This is a beautiful F1, massive big F1. Can't even hold him. Beautiful. Probably 
three, four pound, probably four pound in. Lovely. But yeah, I was catching on this top kit and one, really, really good, and basically stayed there all the match. And I ended up weighing seventy-five pound, which won the match on the first day. Um, so a fantastic result. And then I was going on to bank pool on day two. So on bank pool, we've told already the corners have been notoriously difficult, and I've managed to unfortunately draw a corner. Peg twenty on bank, and this is right in the corner. This is so. Thought I was in for going to be in for a tough day, and as it's on weight, I thought my chances of winning might be gone now. But again, I've just fished short because that's where all the fish get caught. And I've actually fished a top kit and one in front of myself and a top kit and three down towards the middle of the lake, short again. Same depth of water, same rigs on both lines, 4 by 12 shanty every day. Um, and it was a bit slow to get going, but then I ended up catching some. Again, in runs, like I've learned from bank pool before, you go in on one line, like top kit and one in front of me. I caught like five big ones in five chucks at one point. And then had to move to my other line and I catch a few and it was really good, really good. But then the last hour and a half was ruined with big carp, to be honest. But yeah, I ended up weighing 57 pound, which was third on the lake and third in the match on the second day. And basically that was enough to win on weight. Um, Grant Albert and Jason Cunningham were joint second, believe it or not, over two days. He had exactly the same weight and uh, Conrad Davis was fourth. So lovely little festival that was. And then moving on from Moorlands, just get the hook out of him, another beautiful big F1. Moving on from Moorlands, I have been to Tunnelbarn Farm twice. The first time I went there and it was a Mabor qualifier and I got all the information. Basically, everyone's been catching short on meat, um, really good. Like a day before, Andy Bennett won the match off 23 on extension with £155. So I went there thinking, you know what, I'm just going to fish meat. And then I went into the bag and I drew 23 on extension where Bennett had won the match the day before. So my mind was definitely made up there. And I literally set up top kit in two with meat um, and then a top kit in the edge on meat as well. And I just rotated those two lines um, with a good finish towards the end. Like the last hour and a half, it got really good on just a top kit in front of me. Um, similar to this, to be honest, but just with meat. Meat seems to be the bait early early springtime sometimes when they're on meat they're just on meat so that was really really good and i ended up having a brilliant run the last like hour on the top kit and i weighed 138 pound and that put me fourth for the match 156 pound one uh bradley gibbons won from canal 11 peg i would never have picked myself to be honest um but he caught shallow in the margins um, and £140, Andy Bennett, was actually second, so I could have got second in the match quite easily, like one more fish, annoyingly, but to win another £18, maybe if I'd been doing a bit more F1 fishing, a bit changing my lines regularly, that was really important, catching two or three short, and then two or three in the edge, and switching all the time, that was really, really important, but um, yeah, if I was a bit more on it, maybe I could have pushed it close, so a bit of an annoying one. And then I went back the week after for a Fisher Mania at Tunnelbarn Farm and I drew peg 13 on club, which is a corner peg with the wind blowing in. So it looked really nice, but nobody thought this lake could win. Um, and basically, what I'd st I started short on meat, obviously, the week before, meat was brilliant. Yes, the day before they had a practice match and meat was brilliant. So I started short, I caught a few little tiny stockies, but I'd fed in my margins, because I know there's quite a lot of big carp and big F1s in there, fed my margin straight away, but it was really, really shallow, probably only 10 inches deep. And unbelievably, the fish came in there straight away. So I've pretty much fished down the edges the rest of the day, catching an odd fish, but because it was so shallow, they were really, really difficult to line up and actually catch. So, um, yeah, I've just basically caught an odd one, the pegs exploded, there's bait everywhere, they're swirling everywhere around me. Um, so it made it really, really difficult. But I actually ended up having a nice day. I had £129, which won the section. Andy Mann opposite me on club. He had a little bit deeper water in his edge. He probably had 15, 16 inches, and that made all the difference. Like, he's caught really, really well, um, just in the edges again. He's weighed £170, and he was actually fifth, I think, in the match. So it fished unbelievably well, this match. And it was actually won from Jenny's pool, two people next to each other, first and second. Jason Redgrave won with £272, all on meat on a top kit. And then I think second was £205, so unbelievable fishing. 
um, at Tunnel Barn Farm. And um, yeah, can't wait to get back. I'm trying to get a ticket for the Fish Midlands there on this weekend. So fingers crossed to get on that. And yeah, my next match here at Bowling's tomorrow. Never been here before, but there's loads of lakes, loads of little lakes, and it's absolutely full of F1s, as you can see, I've caught loads. So really looking forward to that, and I will catch you up on how my next matches goes in about a month's time.